Washington DC's Metro is one of the busiest metros in the world. Its network of lines crisscross the nation's capital, connecting virtually all of the capital region. For visitors, it is a great way to get around DC, and this step-by-step -step guide will help you look like a local. Before we get started though, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And do not forget to ring the notification bell so you will always be in the know. With six lines, 91 stations, and covering over 117 miles of track, the DC Metro is the second busiest rapid transit system in the United States, just after New York. The lines are color-coded, red, blue, orange, yellow, green, and silver. The lines are connected to each other via transfer stations, and many metro stops are serviced by more than one color. Each train has an exterior electronic sign that marks the color and the direction the train is going. Direction is indicated by the final station of the line. Popular sightseeing metro stops include the Smithsonian, Metro Center, Gallery Place, Chinatown, Archives, and LaFont Plaza. You can plan your trip and find the best route using Metro's Trip Planner. Here are five steps to riding like a pro. Step one, locate a metro station. Look for a large tower with an M on top. This indicates the entrance to the DC Metro. Step two, buy your smart trip card. When you arrive at your first metro station, Look for one of the blue and orange colored fare machines. If you're traveling with a family, you'll need multiple cards. Every person in the group needs their own smart trip card. Up to two children under five may travel free with each fare paying adult. Smart trip cards cost $10 each, $2 for the card itself, and they come preloaded with $8 of credit. There are two prices for rides, peak and off peak. Peak hours for DC Metro are 5 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. and between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. on weekdays. There are no peak hours on weekends. Each vending machine will show you what it costs to go to any station in the system. Trips within the urban core, the average price ends up being about $3 per trip during peak hours and about $2 per trip during off-peak hours for a full fare trip. For the typical tourist, the $8 default value in topping up as you go tends to work best. Note, you can only use the same debit or credit card three times in one day before the machine will stop taking it. Unless you're riding the metro all the time, a pass probably won't be worth the money. But do the math. There are a number of passes from one day to a month long and many in between. You can purchase your smart trip card at the vending machine using either cash, credit, or debit card. Once you've got your card, walk up to the fare gate, tap it against the target, and go through once the gate opens. When you get to your destination, you'll do the exact same thing to exit. Step 3. Finding your way. Metro has excellent signage that displays the last stop for trains that run on the line and the stops in order until the end of the line. With this example, you know both the yellow and green lines pass through the station. This is indicated at the top. Archives is the station we are in. We know this because it is listed at the top of both lists of stations. The trains on left are heading to Huntington Station on the yellow line and Branch Station on the green. The trains on the right are heading for Fort Totem Station on the yellow line and Greenbelt Station on the green line. At stations where tracks run in the center of the platform on either side, Directional signs are near the escalators to reach the platforms. At stations where the tracks run along the outer wall, the directional signs are available on the platform. Step 4. When on our escalator, always stand on the right and pass on the left. Step 5. When you arrive at your destination, pull out your Smart Trip card. You need this to go through the turnstiles. If you do not have enough money on your card, look for the black and gray vending machine to add more money to your card. Metro's Do's and Don'ts Let people exit the train first. 
if you try to barge onto a train before people exit, you're a fool. Delays happen. Deal with it. If you need to talk on the phone, do it at a respectful volume. The rest of us don't want to hear it. With that, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And do not forget to ring the notification bell so you will always be in the know. Happy and safe travels.